we are going to create a cloud watch dashboard which we are going to share it with public which we are going to share it with specific user right and so basically what we are going to do is we are going to uh, monitor an ec2 instance or server where we are going to check the network in our packages the cpu utilization and based out of that we are going to take the action whether to proceed with further actions or not right so in order to proceed with the dashboard thing, uh, the first thing first that we need to create here is we need to go to the EC2 server and create one instance, EC2 instance. So let me go to launch instance and just uh, let me create a new EC2 instance. So let me click on EC2, launch EC2 and the server name would be CloudWatch server. Okay. And let me keep everything by default as is. And let me click on launch instances and for this specific demonstration purpose we are going to make use of temp meal uh, so we would be sharing one credit with this specific user okay and then uh, what we are going to do is uh, uh, we are going to create one dashboard and we are going to log in through that specific user and check whether we are able to see the matrices or not right meanwhile let us go back and here and go to go and search for cloudwatch until the instance is getting read. Okay, so before creating the dashboard, uh, let's click on dashboards and just wait for some time. And here, let us go back to the instance and let us connect it and let us generate few logs for us so that we can actually get some real time data, right? So, yeah. All right, so let me just uh, log in as a super user and here what I am going to do is uh, I'm going to install Docker and Java. Okay, so let us wait for some time. Okay, and yum install Java app and by and they should uh, do the work. Let us go back to uh, CloudWatch dashboard and click on create dashboard. Here, let me write the uh, dashboard name as Cloud Server API v3. Okay, you can give any custom name, whatever you want. Okay, the here uh, you can uh, see you can add some sort of widgets. That is, the data type can be a matrix, can be a log, can be an alarm. Okay, so if you want to compare data, you can definitely go for uh, logs okay and here you can also generate the matrices so you can proceed forward with the same we are going to make use of uh, these in this specific demonstration now when you go to other content type here you will get uh, widget information so what is the basic use case of this widget type so basically it's it is just for showing why this specific uh, dashboard is created and what is the use case let me just uh, delete few of the widget and I'll just rewrite this thing entirely so i'll just write cloud server okay and here you'll write uh heading so ec2 monitoring so basically it is just used for uh telling what this dashboard is what is the basic purpose right and here you can just uh like change the link so that the user can directly hover to that specific server right so yeah if you want to uh, proceed forward with editing the same you can do the same okay however uh, let me just skip this part okay and i'll just remove this thing as well okay so let's consider that we have done the documentation part and let me click on add widget here what we have done is we have added one widget okay for the specific dashboard and the next thing is is the matrices that we want to enter right now here uh, there are different type of uh, widgets which are present okay for now let us go to the number and click on next and here uh, what we need to do is we need to select the namespaces now if you uh, wonder what namespaces is, we already covered it on the previous video where i actually told you what actually namespaces are and what are the use cases so uh, just to summarize the previous one so basically what namespaces is namespace is just nothing but a uh, clubbing of, of resources so when i say ec2 namespace so it is uh, just indicated and inside ec2 you will find all the necessary information whatever you need uh, in ec2 instances right so basically networking out cpu utilization all everything falls under 
easy to namespace when i click on create widget it will show you the data okay it will take some time and then it will show you the actual data uh, for the cpu utilization meanwhile feel free to explore this thing uh, in your own so let me just create and add more data over here okay you can even show the data with the uh, in terms of logs okay but now let let us go forward with the flow so let me go and create a line or you can even create a bar so click on next and here this time what we are going to do is we are going to go on ec2 instance pre instance metrics and then uh, we are going to select network in and out traffic and then click on create widget this thing is also done now again uh, we are going to create a final one uh, let us take stacked area for this time and namespace again ec2 pre instance metrics okay and let's say you want to check the cpu usage credit and credit balance or plus balance okay and like you can even add more matrices if you want to see okay so yeah that is how you will able to add more matrices and then click on widget and this is how you can just drag and drop and uh, readjust the window as per your use okay let me just save the widget the dashboard okay uh one more thing the dashboard in ec2 the dashboard in aws is not on auto save you need to save it manually then and then only it will be showing you the data okay uh now there is one more thing i need to highlight is let me just go and edit this thing uh edit so here what we did is uh we created generic one okay but what if you want to select a specific instance and check uh, whether the data is for that specific one or not so for that uh, what we need to do is we need to define the sources but here we didn't define the sources correctly okay so this was just a demo dashboard which is created so let me just delete it okay all right so here we learn how we can delete the elements how which we entered by mistake now let us go back and add the cpu utilization for the instance which we created for that we'll need the instance id let me just copy it and go back to cloudwatch okay under the ec2 namespace pre instance matrix okay per instance matrix and here we want cpu utilization but for which instance we are going to target this specific instance cloudwatch server and now here we are going to select cpu utilization and click on create widget now you can see the value is actually populating why because it is from this instance which we are targeting to okay now let us add more matrices so let us add a stacked area for the namespace of ec2 per instance matrix for this specific instance id and what we need to check is credit balance credit usage balance surplus charge and cpu surplus credit balance these are the four instance uh, matrix that we want to see okay and then uh, click on create widget so yeah and then uh, let us click on plus and let us add more widget to it this time we are going to make use of line and again ec2 namespace per instance matrix for this specific instance id now let us see the network in network out packets out and packets in okay so these are the uh, you know matrices that we want to see and click on create widget okay so whatever activities you would be doing here is uh, it will be reflected over there so let us uh just pull one of the images docker pull mysql okay is docker demo running so system ctl enable service okay and then let us pull this image meanwhile go to the dashboard and click on save all right let us do a refresh 
now the next thing is uh, let us say that our inst uh, our cloudwatch dashboard is ready now we want to share it with the world okay so here we are going to make use of uh, this uh, tool called camp mail okay let me just copy the email address and go back to action and click on share dashboard here uh, you want to share a dashboard which required a username and password so click on start sharing and just enter the email address where you want to share the dashboard so click on confirm and preview policy it will generate a uh, policy a read only policy for the user and then it will be generating a link for you okay let us wait for some time and meanwhile uh, there are two things that we need to make sure of uh, the first thing is we will be receiving one mail from AWS regarding the username and password. Secondly, uh, in the CloudWatch itself, we are going to get one link. So let me just do a right click and click on uh, copy link and press. Okay. And here, uh, let me just open a new tab and paste the link. Okay. Here it will ask you for username and password. So the username stands the same. That is the email ID itself and the password you will be getting on the mail. So go to the mail and here you'll need to copy the password which you have received. Okay, here let me go and paste the password. Here it is asking you to set a new password. So yeah, let me just add a new password for now. Okay, and click on send. Now, uh, the verification is done and now it will show you the dashboard which we have created so only with the specific user however if you share it with uh, other people the link uh, they will be prompted for username and password and eventually they won't be able to see the dashboard okay so it will uh, it is loading the dashboard and then this user also will be able to see the dashboard click on light okay so here whatever uh, activity has been performed there he or she will be able to access the dashboard. See, you can see the CPU utilization count metrics has been shown over here. And here in the networking out also, you will be able to see the graphs generated. And this is for the networking. See, the uh, Docker image pool which we perform is showing you the matrices. All right. So, yeah. Uh, now, the next thing is how do you now let us consider that you shared that specific dashboard by mistake with that user and you want to stop sharing. So, go to action share dashboard okay and here in the same place share your dashboard uh, which require username and password click on stop sharing and then now uh, let us wait for some time and now when you go back over here and you do a refresh and uh, in order to check the data it will again ask you for uh, credentials why because we have stopped uh, sharing this dashboard okay now the next thing is we want to share uh, this dashboard publicly without uh, even uh, asking the user for entering the username and password so click on share your dashboard publicly start sharing and then click on share confirm and preview policy okay and let us wait for some time for uh, the link to be generated copy the link you can even open it on incognito tab or on a uh, new window so let me just enter it it is generating credential for you it is logged in you in and then it will show you uh, the cpu utilization okay so yeah here again you can go and check the matrices okay whatever is there so this is for cpu utilization and again this uh, chart indicates the network in and out traffic okay if you want to go in depth just uh, select it and that is how you will be able to see the graphs okay based out of the time so yeah that was all how you can create a custom dashboard share it with the user okay now the first thing first let us go and revert back all the changes we made so far go to instance and terminate the instance okay so yeah the instance is terminated now it's time to delete the dashboard so let's see uh you want to delete the dashboard so go to the dashboard select it you need to unshare and delete it so click on delete okay and here it will uh, ask you to, this dashboard is shared deleting will also unshare it unshare and uh, delete this specific uh, dashboard which you created and these actions cannot be undone so click on unshare and delete because we are sure that we want to delete the dashboard right and here the dashboard is deleted and when you go back here and do and refresh 
the dashboard will no longer to be seen. All right. So yeah, that was all about this specific demonstration. And I hope you have learned from the specific one. And yes, yeah, see you in the next one.